Hi guys, this is EZS123. Today we're going to talk about gastrinoma and the major points of gastrinoma. So let's start. So what is gastrinoma? As the name suggests, gastrin producing and then oma meaning tumor. So gastrin producing tumors. Next thing I want you to remember is that they are neuroendocrine tumors. So why is that important? Well, most of the neuroendocrine endocrine tumors contain somatostatin statin receptors okay and why is that important well that's really important for diagnosis and location of these tumors which I'm going to mention later on in the lecture so where are these neuroendocrine tumors of gastrinoma found well, 90% 90 of them are found around the pancreas or the peripancreatic area. And how doctors like to locate them is that they made this triangle called the, called the gastrinoma triangle. And 90% of the gastrinomas are located within this anatomic triangle. This triangle has a superior border, which is, as you can see, uh, <clears throat> made from the cystic duct and the common bile duct. The inferior border is made by the second and third part of duodenum, and the medial border is made by the head and the neck of the pancreas. So this is where 90% of the gastrinomas arise from. Now, what's going to happen is that the patient is going to come to you, and most likely this patient is going to come with gastric pain or abdominal pain, actually, and diarrhea. And why is that? That's because imagine you hurt yourself, right? And after that, if you have a scab, try putting a little bit of salt on it or try putting a little bit of acid on it or try like using a, a cologne and spraying on it. What's going to happen? It's going to hurt. Same thing happened in your stomach is that once a lot of gastric acid secreted, it's going to cause ulcers. And after that, if you eat any food, or it's, it's something is stimulated and more gastric acid is produced after that, that's going to cause a lot of pain. And the patient usually says, Doc, I'm not eating anything because at any time I eat, first of all, it comes out, it doesn't absorb. And the second thing is that it causes me a lot of pain. So it leads to duodenal ulcers. And something which is very diagnostic is that if you have jejunal ulcers, spelling is really bad but if you have jejunal ulcers and duodenal ulcers but especially if you have jejunal ulcers that's really diagnostic of a gastrinoma uh, so now next we're going to talk about is what tests are you going to perform so guys for diagnosis you're going to focus on three things you first you're going to do a fasting serum gastrin so if you're not eating anything there should be no gastrin being released but in these patients, since there's a gastrin adenoma or gastric tumor, what's going to happen is that the serum gastrin is still going to be high in a fasting state. Second, what you're going to do is that you're going to give a person secretin. Secretin, if you, if you remember, is supposed to um, inhibit gastrin. So what secretin usually does in normal state is that it inhibits gastrin secretion. But in these patients, that's not going to happen. So even after you give a person secretin, the gastrin level is still going to be high. Third thing we're going to talk about is that, remember in the beginning of the lecture I told you that most endocrine tumors contain somatostatin receptors? So what you're going to do is that you're going to give someone radio label somatostatin and, that, and then you're going to check in your imaging. So what's going to happen that somatostatin is going to go and attach those receptors on gastrinoma tumors. And uh, from that you can find out the location of it. So that's really important. Moreover, what I want you to remember now is that gastrinoma is associated with MEN1. And if you remember, MEN1 is associated with three P's. The three P's that are really important are, number one, we're going to talk about is that P for pancreas. So pancreatic tumors. This is supposed to be an N. Um, the second P is for pituitary tumors and the third P is for parathyroid tumors.
So anyone with gastrinoma, make sure you check their parathyroid level and you do maybe an MRI for their brain to check if something is abnormally wrong in the cella turcica. Next, we're going to talk about treatment. The treatment is pretty simple. The first line of therapy is that proton pump inhibitors because what you want to do is that you want to bring the acid concentration down. So we're going to use that and the second is ultimately you have to perform surgery to remove it. And that's it.